And this table, as you can see here, is shipped for different staffs of a company. For instance, working in an hotel. And you agree with me that time is not steady. It's too complex to use as what? As a key. When do we need a surrogate key? Like this example before us now. This name can never be a key because it's not steady. It's always changing. Three people can be called Sue. The same thing with surname. And you agree with me that this number is too complicated. A time is coming, maybe tomorrow or by this time next week, there will be another 5 p.m. here. This table comes without any key. Remember what we are considering of this table now, that the professor, every professor have ID. It's not something that you formulate. It's normal for professor to have what ID. It's normal for student to have ID. This is a normal thing to do. It's normal for staff to have ID. It's normal to, for your car to have a unique number. Here, this table comes without any unique identifier. You have to manually generate it. You cannot call it, or let's say, as you say, okay, it's a serial number. This serial number now, you are using here now, is a surrogate key. This serial number will never change. It will continue like this to 1 million to 1 billion. Is therefore called what? surrogate key. A surrogate key is a key that is fatless. It doesn't have any connection with the table. But if you remove it from the table, it does not affect the table. But you are attaching it to the table because it will assist the table to be able to sort the rows that are what? In different what? Places.